initially uh, before we used uh, Evotherm, we were having some of the problems that we uh, uh, that other contractors were having, uh, gaining uh, uh, adequate density, um, just maintaining consistency. Um, the stiffness of the mix um, was was an issue. We were um, adding thinner uh, liquids to try to offset that, but sometimes that still wasn't enough. And it really it was a function of what we were, the material that was coming in that we were recycling from different roadways. Some were older than others, and some of the viscosities were all over the board, and yet we were still, well, we only had a certain amount of liquid uh, that we were um, supposed to put in there, a certain type that we were supposed to put in there. So. Um, now in terms of our uh, recycle content in our mix designs, um, you know, in, in our state, we, uh, we've been running high percentage of wrap for, for quite a while now. Our state's a leader in that in the nation. However, um, we're always looking for ways to improve that. And, um, and one of the ways that we found to do that was um, to be able to produce at a high rate of wrap and still maintain the level of quality that we're wanting. And uh, so, um, after we began using Ewotherm, uh, what we found was it kind of helped to level the playing field a little bit. So, kind of offset some of those variations that we saw in the viscosity of the recycled material um, when, when we used um, Ewotherm we could uh, maintain a more consistent workability uh, throughout that range of uh, viscosity of the material. So when we are running high wrap, uh, we have a, a better level of confidence that we'll be able to achieve the goals, uh, the quality goals that are set forth in the contract.